But joining me is Congresswoman Maxine Waters of California, a member of the Congressional Black Caucus. Uh, Congresswoman, I think you've seen this video in full, and I just want to get your reaction to it. I am so upset watching this video and listening to the cries and the pleads of a wife who is saying to the police he has no weapon and explaining to them what he has just done in taking his medicine. I see no reason why he had to be murdered by the police. As a matter of fact, no police was in danger. He was not threatening anybody. Even if they had to sit there and wait it out until she talked him out of the car, why did they have to advance and kill him? But Congressman, he do you feel no you, threat. Congressman, do you feel that they have, the police chief and everyone else has provided enough of a narrative? We know that Mr. Scott's wife left the scene to go back to get her charger. This is roughly several minutes later when she returns to the scene and begins filming uh, with this camera and in this video. Uh, do you feel that the police deserve any benefit of the doubt while they are trying to uh, inform the people of Charlotte? Well, let me just say this. It is rare that you can get charges this soon. And if a police chief believes that it is absolutely credible and necessary to make the charges, I'm with the police chief. You don't get this easily. And I think if the police have seen even more than we have seen, he has good reason by which to bring these charges. I'm looking at or what is being shown, what is being revealed. I see no reason why this man had to be murdered. None. Nobody's life was being threatened. The wife was pleading with them. She said he had no weapon. She told them that he uh, was using uh, whatever he had in order to take his medicine. Why did they have to advance on him and kill him in front of his wife? Why did they have to do that? I've seen enough. I believe the wife. I'm with the police chief. I'm not waiting for any more anything. Anybody who wants to wait in order to believe that it was all right to murder this man, they can do that, not me. So, Congresswoman, we are expecting the governor of North Carolina, Pat McCrory, to hold a 2.30, uh, roughly around 2.30, this press briefing. We don't know if he's had access to see the video that was shot by Mrs. Scott. Uh, at this point, there is a state law in North Carolina that prohibits the release that was signed by the governor of the dash cam video or the body cam video. And the police chief has said that he feels that in this case it's correct because he doesn't want to publicize what is the victim's worst day. What would your advice be to the governor? Are you speaking to me? Yes. Well, let me tell you, I don't care what the law says. You have a wife who videoed what took place. Her husband has been murdered. And if you tell me that she should care about a law that literally is in place to protect police anyway, and that she should not have shown it, I'm with the wife. I don't care what the law says. And the law that is expected to go into effect October 1 is a law that shouldn't be in place in the first place, that says you can't tell the public and you can't show the public and nobody can expose what they have videoed. I don't believe in that law. I think it's an unjust law. I think the wife is correct. I stand with her. I am outraged that this man has been murdered right before his wife's eyes when she was pleading with them not to kill him. I don't care what the law says. Congresswoman Maxine Waters, thank you very much for joining us. And again, this is very sad. Uh, this is very, very sad information that we've been uh, provided here at NBC News today. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.